For diabetics like Amy Wilton from Fairham, insulin injections are a tedious but vital part of everyday life. Amy, who's 15, suffers from type 1 diabetes, which left untreated can be a killer. Everything you eat, you've got to think, right, I'm going to need some insulin for this, I can't just have it and then just forget about it. And you've just got to literally get the balance between eating the right stuff and then having the right amount of insulin. But today there's new hope for diabetics thanks to research here in the south. Scientists at the University of Brighton have discovered that when type 1 diabetes strikes, the body tries to fight back by producing more insulin-making cells. The discovery paves the way for more effective treatments. We now have an opportunity to try and find out what triggers the patient's own cells to replicate and divide. If we can understand the pathways and the cellular signals that are going out to the beta cell telling it to divide, we can develop therapies aimed at that target, if you like. What it also means is that um, they, we reduce the risk of the long-term complications of type 1 diabetes, which include blindness, limb amputation, kidney disease, stroke, things like that. Meanwhile, researchers at Oxford University looking at type 2 diabetes are one step closer to building a DNA profile of those most at risk. That could be a vital step in combating the condition. These findings shed new light on the biology underlying diabetes, and that's the key way that we can design new drugs. So this is an enabling piece of research that will allow others to take the torch of developing new drugs that will one day treat and perhaps prevent diabetes. Diabetes is a massive public health problem. Across the UK, there are three million sufferers. Treating the condition costs nine billion pounds each year. That's 10% of the entire NHS budget. But now there's a real prospect of tackling the illness more effectively in years to come. Malcolm Shaw, Fort Meridian tonight.